Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Today's battles are on the Fisherman's Bay map, and we've got Appmate in the Senlac um, Tier 8 British Premium Light Tank. He's got his first mark on this tank, so we know it does reasonable damage, uh, both combined and damage and actual raw damage. Now, if you didn't notice, so he's got commander's vision systems mounted as well as optics and low noise exhaust so pretty much a great combination of the light tanks allows you to be both passive and also active spotting and you see it's already spotted a few tanks including enemy light tank you can get spotted there but uh, also yeah just holding a shot here um, just want to get lit straight away now of course not quite got a shot on that ELC but um, yeah firing in camo, actually, or in cover, actually reduces your camo anyway. So let's just uh, switch to the HE around there to try and do as much damage as possible to the ELC. So 256, I think standard damage is 180, so that's not bad. Let's have a look at the rounds he's got. Gets pen of 223 in the premium round and 189 with the standard round. Um, but uh, he's bottom tier in this match here, so tier 8 to tier 10 game. And there's four tier 10s on this game. Anyway, keeps using his HE round, fires into the Scorpion and does, yeah, nice 275, so getting good damage out of there. Just switches back to his standard round, goes for the MO3, but um, yeah, that's a higher tier tank and it might pay to switch to the premium round there. Now, unfortunately, the Barask went a bit too far forward and got caught out in the open and got massacred as a result. So they've lost the first tank. But so far, there's a bit of a hit point lead to Abmate's team. Now, sort of working this front line here hasn't really um, picked up a lot of assist damage in there. That's mainly because there's not that many tanks around who can shoot at these targets. Now, the, you know they're basically on top of the hill here so the enemy is sort of in a lower position he's on a slightly lower position and any tanks behind him are even lower so you know, there's not many tanks that can shoot there but uh, again just holds your shot on the CS-52 list he's not really sure if he'd then be shot at by the scorpion say at the back as uh, he'd be lit almost straight away and he's just looking for these targets here but um, yeah they'll know they're getting lit as, as this happens, but it just doesn't have a target he can put more shots into. No one's spotting on the uh, one line, for example. Although you'd say he's a light tank, <laughs> why isn't he doing the spotting? Well, he sort of is, so he's up in the middle here, making sure, and in fact, this is where the majority of the enemy tanks have been spotted, that you know his team knows where they are and they can make decisions about where to push. Uh, so there's obviously a push going on in the um, town there. But they've lost their second tank, tier 9. And he just decides to put an opportunistic shot towards that Leopard 1 and he gets spotted as a result. There you go. But uh, luckily he's got some good hard cover here. Well protected. Now there's no artillery in this game, which will certainly help. So if he gets caught out in the open, it's really just the guns around him that will cause the um, problems. Yeah, and they're probably telling their teammates that uh, yeah, they're getting spotted from the middle here. And there where the scorpion is would know that was where he was last spotted. So, so can get blind fire coming in here, but it uh, doesn't look like that so much. I won't know exactly where he is, so just keeps working in this line here, showing a bit of patience. We're nearly five minutes gone in the game, so about a third of the way through. He's running a mission here, let's have a quick look. I think this is one of the, yeah, you know, this is the Alliance 15 mission. So he's already got the primary condition five times, he's just looking to improve his result which means he needs to get the Ace Tanker Mastery Badge three times. Right, that uh, ELC is still around and causing a bit of a problem, but Dapmate, nicely in the bushes here, he's covered on both sides. 
That'll make it quite difficult for the ELC to spot him, even though he's potentially mounting the same sort of um, modules of CVS and um, optics. So he's not in a necessarily a perfect position here, but he's sort of covered from the casual um, sighting. This team starting to pull back some hit hits there. They've managed to get rid of the M451, which is uh, not a bad get. Pretty strong tier nine heavy tank. He got spotted as he went out there, so that's probably the ELC sitting in a bush. Not exactly where, or in fact, he's just popped up on the side there. Oh. <laughs> Picks a bush, fires at it, gets a kill. Now that's exactly what you want to get. A nice choice blind firing, and that gets. Oh, luckily takes that hit on his tracks. But um, 103 making a lucky guess as to where it'd be. All right, so he knows the enemy light tank's been taken out. He's the only light tank now in the game. This is where you can start to make a difference. So he takes a big circle here to make sure he's not going to get spotted out by the uh, Scorpion in case the Scorpion's moved up. He's got the AT-15 on his left who is pushing up, so good result for him. And oh yeah, he did get spotted there possibly by the, um, the Leopard or maybe by the Scorpion. That made choosing to basically get a better outcome here. Get these tanks in the centre. Oh, that uh, did get spotted just as he went in there, and that's the uh, Progetto 46 there. Must have been seeing him come out in the open before it got into the bush. But uh, luckily, the um, Progetto gets whacked as well from firing. And that M103 really making sure that he knows where Appmate is, but uh, he's still out in the open there, and Appmate now just lining up the side of his turret. And just looking for the best targets he can get. And he's switching back to the AG around here, going to go for the Scorpion again. No, not got a real target there. And he's just, I guess, waiting for them to get beyond the edge of his view range, which is just about what they're doing. Can he get the Scorpion? Oh. Basically, gets absorbed by the tracks. Now, that might have gone in, a bit hard to tell, but um, it's definitely helping his team right now. And there's the Leopard 1, he can get rid of him now. Yep, gets a kill, gets rid of a very dangerous tier 9 medium. And he can hit that Progetto. Well, I'm not sure if that went in, but um, nice parting gift anyway. Alright, so they know they've basically cleared the 1-2 area. The M103 and the um, Progetto have just basically moved up. His team's starting to make a difference here. So, Abmate can basically pursue them down the A line here using his CVS uh, capability. Where's the CS52 list? Now, I'm not sure who's getting these spotting damage. There you go, there you go. Spotted the Scorpion G. Penetrates, but uh, doesn't finish him off. But these teammates do, so that's fine. And now he's starting to pick up the assisted damage here. Now I've got 2.2k of assisted. And he's got the M103 there. M103 knows he's being spotted. Is he running away? It looks like it. Yep. It's a shot in, and again, unfortunately, doesn't get the kill. But another tank, the Iron Arnie, gets it but any crumbs because uh, he was knocked down to basically one shot of all at that point. Uh, took a bit of damage there on his tracks making that uh, dive off there, but um, hasn't slowed him down at all. So the game now sort of up to this point, it was pretty much in the balance, but I think it's taken a bit of a the handle over it. But the enemy's concentrated now in the centre. Now, can he get rid of some of these guys? There's a chieftain there, and does get spotted as he fired, but he wants to stay out of the line of sight of those tanks. They've got very punchy guns. It's 
So again, making a big circle here so it can come back. Alright, so I've got some pretty dangerous tanks in the centre. There's the Centurion, or he's got Chieftain, I should say, he's got the side of the turret, just missed getting a shot in there. Sharper Tier 4 behind hard cover, the Minotauro there, very strong frontal armour and that TD. So very challenging for a light tank to deal with, but oh, he's got the rear of the Minotauro. Yep, reduces him to one shotable. And didn't get spotted as a result, but uh, now there's the Char going back as well. And he's got a shot on him, yes he does. So starting to get his damage up, he's now got a combined total of 3.8, nearly 3.9k. And of course he is bottom tier, so the more damage he does to higher tier uh, tanks, then the more experience he can get out of it. And that's basically one of the advantages you can get in being bottom tier. And I guess tier 8 is probably the, the best tier to be in if you're uh, two tiers behind. You certainly have ammunition which gives you a sporting chance to at least do some damage even if uh, your armour won't stand up to the tanks in at that tier. So the Iron Arnie takes out the Char for Tour 4. It's just the Minotaur left. Oh, the Chieftain has gone down the back. Now he's spotted the Chieftain. No, he's been spotted by the Chieftain as well and does take a massive hit. 547, that's a high roll there from the Chieftain, but uh, it's, uh, it's made him basically one-shottable. But I certainly wasn't expecting the Chieftain to be all the way down there. And I'm not sure what the Chieftain thinks he's going to do. He's certainly going to get outspotted by the Senlac. And you get rid of that Minotauro in the middle. And this Iron Arnie doing his best with 17 hit points. The Minotauro's only got 145 if he can get around the side of him. And he does. Well, congratulations there. That's Man Boops from, uh, I think it's the Perth clan that he's in. Maybe. There we go. We've got the uh, Chieftain coming back. And he might be able to chase him down and get a few shots in the rear of that uh, Chieftain. And the projector has been spotted in the back now. And the AT-15 has worked his way all the way around the uh, the map there to get to the projector. So Chieftain takes out Iron Arnie. But he gets a shot into the side of the Chieftain and didn't get spotted by that one. So now, one more shot. You know, you'd have to get a bit of a high roll there to take him out. But uh, Chieftain is now the last tank in the game. And can he get the kill? Oh, we just had a gap there. Chieftain knows he's being spotted. He needs him to keep advancing and come out, or he's going to have to go after him. But uh, definitely he's one shot a ball to the Chieftain, so it's just very finely balanced now at the moment. Chieftain quite capable of taking out, well there goes the AT-15, so now it's just that mate and the Chieftain. He's got slightly less hit points, but it doesn't really matter. He's one shot a ball to the Chieftain. The Chieftain would have to suffer a high roll from, from that mate. And I'm not sure that that's likely, but can he catch him side on? That's really what he wants to do, is get the side of the turret. Yes, there he is crawling up. Puts a shot, and unfortunately that doesn't connect, but uh, he also doesn't get spotted too, which is good. Now we're in the last minute of the game, so this game is here to be won or lost. Gets a shot in and basically takes him down to one shot of all the chips and knows where he is. <laughs> it fires back, he's been spotted. And now he's got the front of it. And using the stand around there, not penetrating. They may just be able to penetrate there, but he needs that chieftain to basically sit out there in the open or basically make a mistake. And it looks like he's coming back to the rock and he goes out of vision there. Fires again with his HE round and only does 30 hit points of damage. He's used all his premium rounds now, so he's only got his standard round left or the HE round. And you can see the chieftain player not falling for this trick of going around the rock. He's uh, just set, trying to set up to side scrape. They're basically they know where each other are because of proximity spotting. 
and he just needs that chieftain to fire and he can come around and, and uh, get a side shot in. In fact, there he goes. And he fires for the gap and gets the kill anyway. So great result there for Mapmate. Let's go and have a look at the detail. Alright, some results. Uh, ended up with 2.7k of his own damage and another 2.5k of assisted damage there. So that's over 5k of combined. Very nice result there. Uh, three kills. Uh, that's the Chieftain, the Leopard one. So that's a tier 10, a tier 9, and then the LC even 90, which that blind shot uh, got him. Uh, earned him the Orlex medal which is about killing two tanks or tank destroyers in a light tank in one battle they're at least one tier above you so it's a nice medal to get and that's earned him the ace tank and mastery badge as well so let's have a look at the team score all right finished nicely on top there with 1426 um, followed by the tortoise who did over 4k of damage and 1300 and got, probably got an ace tanker out of that as well and then iron arnie um, getting five kills but uh, just hitting the 1k mark in terms of basic experience and really those tanks made quite a difference to the game. Uh, the Ice Forward doing over 4k as well really helped, even the STB1 doing 3.6k. Some good damage outputs there. The enemy team, the Chieftain did 4.2, which is what you'd want to see um, even in the losing side, but uh, the Prochoto 46 actually ended up with the most DXP. So some good players there as well. So and you can sort that from the closeness of the result. So let's have a look at what did it cost to run. Well, hopefully light tanks don't cost a lot, and this is a premium tank as well. But uh, 21 shots fired, 18 hits and 12 penetrations. Some splash damage there. That was from the HE rounds that he was firing. Uh, managed to get 1,100 and... 12 or 112,000, I can't even count these days, of credits and the expenses were it's a minor cost to repair. Ammunition only 24k because he used a mix of different ammunition types, even though he did use all of his premium rounds and some premium consumables. So it ended up with a net 56k with no reserves running, no special bonuses, etc. So that is not a bad result uh, perhaps could be a little bit better but uh, nothing to sneeze at anyway another great game there from AppMate is really a bit of a champion um i always look forward to getting his replays and hopefully you do too if you like the video please give it a thumbs up it gives a bit more exposure to more people in the youtube algorithm and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet uh, that's something you know, hopefully you'll consider doing as well anyway we'll have more great content to follow thanks very much for watching